Okay, so today we're gonna make something for you that's a little bit different. I was um, looking for these recipes last night because I just bought a bottle of this stuff, dry curacao, amazing stuff. And I was like, I gotta use it on more than just one little cocktail. So I found this one that is called a Jolly Roger. But today doing a little more research on the Jolly Roger, I discovered that there's tons of ways of making a Jolly Roger. So many ways that I think they're all kind of different because some don't even use rum, some use vodka, some don't even have um, uh, orange in it, some have lime, I don't know, it's, it's a big disaster with it. So we're gonna make something that's based on the Jolly Roger and hopefully you guys like it. So let's get going. The first thing we're gonna do is we got this wonderful little bottle right here of Dr. Bird Jamaican rum. It's got this stink to it, man. Woo, yeah, it's good. It's what they call Hono. And it's uh, apparently a, a sulfuric smell that comes from the molasses process. I don't know, I read a little bit about it. Didn't really get a grasp on it, but it's okay. The recipe calls for one ounce of it and one ounce of this thing and half an ounce of it, but I'm gonna double it up because it's just uh, kind of a small pour. So I'm gonna double it up and um, we're gonna put it into our shaker glass here. So this is uh, two ounces of the Dr. Bird. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty windy here today. My little lights here went out. They're gone. Good night. So we'll start off with the Dr. Bird. Then we come up with the secret weapon right here, the orange dry curacao. This stuff is really, really yummy. And um, I think you just drip it on your own, but let's put it in our drink here. So here we go. Da -da -dee -dee -dee. Okay, two ounces. Bammo, there we go. Our next victim uh, that we're gonna use here tonight is we're gonna put an ounce of orange juice. So let's shake up our orange juice. Flip this over so we don't put two ounces by mistake. So here we go. We got two ounces of, uh, a little more there. Da, 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 da. There you go. Two ounces of orange juice. Very nice. The next thing we're gonna do is, I mean, not two ounces, one ounce of orange juice, man. I'm telling you, my measurements are all wacky every week. And here are we gonna get an ounce of lime juice. An ounce of lime juice. You put the lime in the coconut. No coconuts today, they're just lime juice. And that's about two ounces right there. Bam, put that in there. Beautiful, okay. So we got the base for our drink. Oh, before I continue, how about this beautiful mug from Tiki Diablo? Just got it today from Tiki T from Los Angeles, celebrating their 59th anniversary. Beautiful, beautiful mug, awesome mug. All right, next we're gonna put a little ice in this thing. Alrighty, got some ice, there we go. And then we're gonna get a nice big square cube of ice to our, our cup. Then we're gonna shake this puppy up with our shaker glass. Oh yeah. Shake it nice to get it nice and cold. Oh, look at those tins freezing up. This is gonna be very refreshing for these uh, hot, humid Miami nights. The next thing we're gonna do is get our strainer and we're gonna put pour that right into our glass. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that fits nice in there. Okay, cool. Then the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a couple dashes of Angostura bitters and just let them ride up on the top there. And that's all we got, guys. We stir it up a little bit and uh, Boy, that smells so good. Let's take a little sip. Mmm. So complex, but it's so good. Simple to make, but the Dr. Bird really adds a funky element to it. I love it. I think you guys will too. Cheers. Until next time, my friends. Take it away, Jay.